Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amran and in today's Make Knowledge Free campaign, we go about looking at how we can set up and use Amazon Pay on our devices. Now Amazon Pay uses the UPI payment method, much like other UPI payment applications like Phone Pay, Google Pay. This is also a very seamless application and very much very easily usable. So we will go about looking at the steps, what you need to take so that you can start using Amazon Pay with your Amazon account to make and receive payments as well as make certain business payments. So let's start and proceed. Set up and use the Amazon Pay UPI. Now much like any other UPI applications, the first step is setting up the account, linking the bank accounts and then making use of those linked bank accounts to send and receive money. So let's look at how this is done. First things first, you need to obviously have the Amazon app installed. Go ahead and open up the app. Signing using your login credentials. So I will sign in using my login credentials. So I will just quickly go about doing this. I will blur a part of it. Click on continue. So I'll put in the Amazon password. Since my account is protected with a two-step authentication, I will get one. So mine is 215382. So I'll just put in that 215382. And I will sign in. So you should be getting this interface. Now here you will see like there is neatly this option for Amazon Pay. Now we need to first set this up. Now this is a dual SIM phone and the primary SIM is the SIM which has the number that I have registered my different UPI banks with. So let's go about looking at the steps for setting up and linking bank accounts. I click on Amazon Pay and here I will see that I have an option of clicking Amazon Pay UPI. So it's like asking me to get started because I haven't done anything. So I click on that, get started. And here it tells me that, well, you can scan UPI QR, you can send money and you can pay on Amazon. We'll be looking separately at each of this. But before that, let's first link a bank account because without linking or adding a bank account, you can practically do nothing, not just on Amazon and any other UPI app. Let's click on proceed. So it will now ask me or prompt me rather to select the SIM, which is like share with the bank accounts. So since this is a dual SIM phone, my primary SIM, my geo number is the one with which my bank accounts have been registered and they like have UPI payment facility. So I keep that selected, click on proceed. Now it will ask me to select which banks are those. So for me, it's ICIC account. So I click on ICIC account and it's almost seamless. It retrieves all my accounts which share this number and which I would want to link to my Amazon Pay. Here you can see I can just link a single bank account, either the first one or the second one, whichever I want. So say I want to link the second one. Now please do note one thing, the UPI pin for the account may have already been set up on Beam UPI. Here in Amazon, you are not required to re-enter the UPI pin. It will automatically add the bank account without asking you to again re-enter the UPI pin. We'll look at this, we'll click on next. I don't think we'll get to see this step. So it will tell me that we already have a UPI pin. In certain applications, you are prompted to re-enter the UPI pin. Here you aren't. So the bank account's been added, which is the first step. Anytime you make a payment, now this bank account will be used and you will be asked to put in the UPI pin. Although you are not asked to put in the UPI pin here, but anytime when you make a transaction, you will have to put in the account UPI pin. Let's now click on continue. And you will see like we have a pre-generated UPI ID and also the linked bank account, which is now appearing. Now we can scan UPI QR and make payment or we can send money to contacts or pay bills. So a few days back, I went to a shop which had an all-in-one scan QR code and this was the QR which was there. So what I will do is I will click on the scan UPI QR and uh, it will automatically take the QR and it will like tell me which merchant has been detected. It will ask me for the amount and it will ask me to pay. And I can see my linked bank account here. When I click on pay, it will prompt me for the UPI pin. So it will prompt me now for the UPI pin without which it will not proceed. Now in my case, it's four in key. your case, it may be six depending on which bank you have. So mine is one, one, two, two. Don't worry, this is edited. Now, let me go ahead and click OK. And you will see that this amount has been sent to the retailer. So many times on shops, you will see the QR codes. 
you know it will be something like this you go to the shop and then you ask for something like curd and this and that and then they will ask you to make the payment using the qr code now it's pretty common like even shopkeepers pani puri walas and other people have this qr code with them and you can pay to the retailer scanning the qr and paying like this well not just this you can also send money directly to upi ids and also to amazon contacts who have the amazon pay account with them so for that you need to click on send money so it's asking for allowing access to contacts so you give that right so since this has access to contacts you can click on enter name and this you can put in the contact name so if the contact has amazon pay it will show this orange sign appearing next to it you can click on the contact and then it will take you to the payment page the contact upi id will reflect here and here you can put in the amount what you want to send you can click on send money and then it will take you to the like page wherein the upi pin has to be put so now we'll have to put in the upi pin So once the UPI pin has been put, then like you need to put on OK. Don't worry, these are all edited pins. Anyways, I will change it. So click on OK, and then you will see that this amount will be sent to the person. So you can also pay bills. So I will go back to Amazon Pay, and you can see that you can make bill payments. You can make electricity, mobile, credit card, broadband, other things. So any of these things, like you need to first add in your like you know like your account. and then once it's added you can make those bill payments you can also book tickets and you can do various other things if you look a little above you will see that there is the option of adding money basically whatever you add gets goes to the amazon pay balance you can get your kyc done you can check bank accounts and add a bank account for your refunds and that's practically it so today's tutorial was just to like show you how you can set up amazon pay account and kind of use it we'll obviously be having a detailed playlist in which you will be showing each of the steps from adding banking bank account to making payments and every other thing in much much detail hopefully you will find all of that useful and subscribe to our channel click on the bell icon for more notifications and i am lan will catch you in the next one